Hi, it's me, Michael from Men's Finest, and I want to show you a very quick lesson of trimming your beard. This is not going to be a, a very complicated tutorial. I'm going to be using tools that I've used before. You can check it out here, my tutorial on using one of the tools I'm going to be using. Also, uh, I'm going to have something that our friend Aaron Marino from I Am Alpha M um, reviewed. It's a, it's a sort of a beard trimmer. Um, hair trimmer that I, I bought because of his recommendation but it turned out to be one of the best uh, beard trimmers that I ever had. So without further ado I'm just going to show you very briefly how I trim this. So there are two major tools I'm going to be using. The first one is this One Blade by Philips. Uh, this has absolutely changed the way how I shave and how I trim and how I contour my beard. So this is definitely number one tool I'm going to be using. Uh, the tool I was talking to you about from Aaron was this Brio Beard Scape Trimmer. It's, uh, it's amazing, the battery lasts forever, it's heavy, it's sturdy, it's superb. So I'm going to be using these two today. So my barber, Ross, and you can check me uh, doing, doing haircut here at Ross's shop. Uh, he told me about a very important rule that I want you to understand when trimming your beard. It's all about, obviously, the neckline, and he says the Adam apple should be where we start seeing the line. So, so here, we should actually be trimming so everything below that should be completely uh, sort of hairless, and then that line between here and there should have a, a, a very light, so very, very small hair in there. So basically no hair, just a slight bit of hair, and then the rest of the beard should be also trimmed. Um, let's see how easy that is. So I'm going to start off with this. Uh, so I'm going to first create that line. Uh, I'm going to be looking at my screen so I can see it better, but you can see this as well. So first of all, I need to find that. So I'm just going to go over the Adam apple here. So that's, uh, that's what the recommendation is. So I'm going to go over here and there. So I just go above Adam Apple. All you're going to do is make sure that there is no um, hair just below the Adam apple. Um, so this is actually removing completely the hair, which is just amazing. So now I'm, I'm leaving this, I'm taking my uh, other beard trimmer, so we'll see what I'm doing there. I can move this up and down so you can see that it has got that, so that moves up and down that up a bit, right? 1.3 millimeter. Um, and then I'm just going to go over to this sort of area. So the area where my jaw kind of um, sort of collapses. This has got no hair. Then we've got a bit of a hair there. And that's the whole point, because now we can even go and add a bit more length to it and just go over a bit, just slightly higher, so we create that blend. Let's do that. After I'm doing that, I'm going to use my three millimeter attachment that came with this um, and probably finish off the rest of the beard just to make sure that it's all nice and newly trimmed. 
So I'll show you that now as well. Guys, I think we've got this. So what I've done is obviously removed the hair from there completely. Then I've, um, you know, made sure that we, um, you know, went pretty close here. So I've got a bit of a hair there. And then the rest of my beard, I obviously trimmed. Um... Whoa. That was a sneeze and a half. So there you have it. This is what I do maybe every two or three days when these hair uh, sort of down below become a bit of a nuisance that I sort of trim them. Uh, but apart from that, this is my sort of every two, three day routine. Um, I sometimes change the attachment and sometimes change the length depend how I feel. This is actually very short for me. It's probably going to last me for two or three days. Then probably I'll use this and trim down the, the bottom a bit uh, so it looks fresh and new. And maybe use, you know, maybe 1.8 or 1.9 to sort of, uh, you know, create that blend between. Um, let me know in the comments below. What's your uh, beard trimming routine and how often do you trim your beard? And whether you like it or not, because the worst and the worst nightmare and the worst thing for me to do is actually use this sort of normal disposable razor to shave. So when I discover this, there is never coming back to normal disposable razor. So let me know if you are the same and you also don't like use disposable razors. Speak soon. Stay stylish. Ciao.